Let us today, in a nutshell, examine the ancient tradition and the doctrine and the faith of the Catholic Church. The Holy Mother Church today celebrates the Most Holy Trinity. In other words, today is called the Trinity Sunday. The Trinity is recognized in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is holy and perfect and has no adulteration. In the teaching of the Most Holy Trinity, the Church recognizes the Father as the source and origin of the whole divinity. But the eternal origin of the Spirit is not unconnected with the Son's origin. The Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, is God, one and equal with the Father and the Son, of the same substance and also of the same nature. Yet, He is not called the Spirit of the Father alone, but the Spirit of both the Father and the Son. From beginning, the revealed truth of the Holy Trinity has been at the very root of the Church's living faith, principally by means of baptism. Baptism, as we know, is being done by a Trinity formula. The Trinity is one. We do not confess three gods, but one God in three divine persons, the consubstantial Trinity. The divine persons do not share the one divinity among themselves, but each of them is God, whole and entire. The Father is that which the Son is, the Son that which the Father is, the Father and the Son that which the Holy Spirit is. That is to say, by nature, one God. And also, we should also know that the divine persons are really distinct from one another. God is one, but not solitary. Father, Son, Holy Spirit are not simply names designating modalities of the divine being, for they are really distinct from one another. The Father is not the Son, nor the Son, the Father, nor is the Holy Spirit, the Father or the Son. They are distinct from one another in their relations of origin. This is a mystery. But they are all united in the splendor of love and unity. It is the Father who generates the Son who is begotten and the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The lesson the Church wants us to learn today is the lesson of unity in diversity. Let us be united in spirit and in love. Let us pray. Oh my God, Trinity, whom I adore, help me forget myself entirely, so to establish myself in you, unmovable and peaceful, as if my soul were already in eternity. May nothing be able to trouble my peace or make me leave you, O oh my unchanging God, but may each minute bring me more deeply into your mystery. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.